Nap Tech channel where we review um, products, um, whether it be technology or electronics. And in today's video, I'll be reviewing my iPhone XR. Okay, um, so let's get this review kicked off um, by just talking about the overall iPhone XR. The iPhone XR was released September 2018 by Apple at around um, 750 US dollars. So those of you in Canada or in other countries watching this video, um, I do not know how much it cost at that time over where you guys live, but I know in the USA, at launch by Apple, um, the iPhone XR cost about $750. Uh, but now, because of the um, iPhone 11 and the iPhone 13 and iPhone 12, all new, um, rather new phones, um, mostly the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13, um, the newer versions of the phone, the most popular at the moment, um, caused the price of the iPhone XR to go down because it's now less popular so now you could get your hands on one for about three hundred dollars which is about four hundred fifty dollars less than what you would have paid for when it first released in 2018 and that was just about three years ago yeah it's october now so that was a little over three years ago and the price dropped four hundred fifty dollars so um it's still a good phone um so i guess that is a good bargain Okay, so the most the um two main things I'll cover in this video is the battery and camera, and I'm gonna touch on those things most because um in today's world the most um I know it's a cell phone, um but most people when they when they're buying phones nowadays, um the most thing they could take in consideration is not the cell phone um when you call on the phone like it's originally made for or texting, although that is a lot of um what most users do nowadays social media. Um, texting and going live, um, like FaceTiming, um, other things. But the other two most popular things when people consider when buying a new phone is the battery life and um, if, if it's long enough for their needs and um, the camera. And as we can see from the um, newer iPhone models, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 13, and the, um, as well as the um, new iPad mini, we could see that the um um they try their best to figure out how to upgrade um the camera and the battery life. Um so the battery that the um iPhone XR actually has is a Li Ion battery and um it takes a uh, fifteen watt charger. Um with the charger is actually a, a USB type A lightning cable instead of a USB C lightning cable. Um, which has a 15 watt um, charging capacity, which means you'll get 50% in roughly half an hour, which means you'll get full charge in about one hour. And off that one hour of charge, your phone will last um, about 11 hours. And which is, I know 11 hours, that's a little less, 11 and a half hours, um, give or take, is a little less than half the day. But if you really think about it, 11 hours, 11 and a half hours is a long time for a battery because um, one, you have to take into consideration the time that you sleep and two, you have to take into consideration how long you're actually on your phone. Um, so the average person sleeps about eight hours a day, um, leaving you with about um, um, around like 16 hours left of your day, which means that that 16 hours left you could be on your phone or doing other things. But you have to have, have to take into consideration the other things you might be doing, um, like eating and other things, other activities. So you're not actually on your phone for that straight 11 and a half hours, meaning that you will get a full day of battery time before you actually have to charge your phone again at night. And I say at night because it's better to charge your phone at night because you don't want your phone dying out you dying out on you in the middle of the day. Um, so it is a good battery. Um and the um camera. Let's see, I'll show you the camera. Here's the camera. Has that right here is up and it's um it looks like it's across like the iPhone seven, but it's actually going down. Um it's actually an F Slash 
um, 12 megapixel camera um, for the front and that small camera right there is a 7 megapixel camera for the um, front and it has a 32% um, larger sensor which means larger um, which means bigger pe pixels which means a clearer picture so as you see here I have the iPhone I have the iPhone 7 right next to it in comparison as you can see the iPhone XR camera right here is bigger and it's 32 percent bigger it's not a big difference but um i'm not you can't really tell through the camera but in real in real life when you look at these two phones you could definitely tell that the iphone xr camera is definitely bigger than the iphone 7 camera and it's definitely upgrade um so and um for the rear camera you have a um auto focus for the rear camera meaning like if you're taking a picture or something um it, whatever it thinks you're trying to focus on it auto focuses on it meaning you'll get a clear picture every time you take a picture and um iphone xr also supports um also supports the um portrait mode meaning it could blow out your background and so I, I i like that feature um a lot because it just really helps when you're um taking pictures or recording anything and i think i just think that's an overall good feature for a phone Okay, next let's talk about the new look. It's not um a new it's a newer look from the older models of phones. Um as you can see. Okay, so take it for reference the um iPhone 7. Um you can't really see because it it's like blacked out, but if I turn on the screen, you can see you got all this space right here, all this space right here, a little space right here, and a little space right here. But on the iPhone XR, um you can see the only spot on the phone where it's actually taking up extra space is right here on the top where the um where your camera and your mic is at your speaker um which means you got slimmer edges for the um iphone xr which i like that newer look they're adding to the newer phone because you have more visibility on your phone um and i think that's a overall good feature like when you're watching something or like if you're on a video chat and anything it's just overall a better feature and for the retina retina and screen display and you also have um also um this is not a comparison video i'm just using the iphone 7 as a reference point so that we could um see the clear differences between the um, phones so obviously you could tell when you look at the iphone xr versus the older model is that there is no home button Meaning there also is no touch ID anymore. Um, iPhone XR supports Face ID, and I also like that. Um, better. I mean, sometimes <clears throat> it is a little glitchy, like you know, during COVID. Like if you have like your mask on, you have to pull it down for a quick second to get your face scanned. But you can add more, to, um, so it can recognize you in different um, things. Like if you have glasses on, or if you're wearing a mask, or other things. So I do like to um, do that. Um, but the other thing that you could look at the iPhone XR is this power button right here. It's a pretty long power button, which I think is very unnecessary. Um, it, it does add to the look a little bit, but I think other than the look, um, it serves no other purpose. Um, it is easier to like grab and touch. Like if you had like a case on, it'd be easier to like, um, touch than like a smaller button like the iPhone 7. But I, in my opinion, I think it's rather unnecessary. Um, another look about the iPhone XR is it now it comes in six colors. Um, one, the main color being red. So if you don't choose the color, then they're automatically going to give you red. That's a product red color. But you also can choose from a different variety of colors. Like here, I have with me today a coral, um, peachy color. Um, but the color of that is actually coral. Um, you also could choose from a bright yellow, a light blue, um, a white, and a black. Um, so I do like the color choices that it provides. And so I think for this iPhone XR, the pros do outweigh the cons. Um, so if you're just looking for a phone 
um, that can do what it do. Um, but you're not looking to spend a whole grand on a phone. I think the iPhone XR is a good choice to go to um, because um, although a lot of people might tell you that it's outdated, it still works pretty fine. It has all the camera features. Um, really, all they're doing is adding a better camera to the newer phones. And um, that's mostly what the cost is. You're paying mostly for the camera nowadays when you're paying for phone. But for the um, iPhone XR, I think you're paying for the whole package. It's a um, newer look, newer phone. And I think it's just overall better. Um, so I think it's still end date. And I think um, it's still worth buying if you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money. Um, so thank you guys for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on Sunday. And peace out. Stay safe.